welcome back to another episode of This Square Room. My name is Jonelle. I have Eugene here on his phone. I have Des here rubbing his eyes. How are your eyes, Des? They have not changed. Oh. However, I feel like I know what's wrong. What? Um, what do you think is wrong? I can't pronounce it. Um, but it's a it's a condition and it's not curable. Wait, wait, wait. Did you go to the doctor or is this like self-diagnosis? No, this is self-diagnosis. Okay. Somebody sent me an article because they were reading something or watching something. Do you remember like what the word was? Yeah, like... yeah. I can actually pull it up because okay, I made, I made yeah, sure I curious. screenshot it. Um, but everything that like the conditions, like it's actually exactly what um what I what I can't see. It Carat- was just keratonis? Whatever, however Carat- you Carato Keratoconus. <laughs> That's what my anime Corneal sounds like. Corneal cross-linking, mm-hmm. custom. Oh, this is. Oh, these are treatment treatments. Treatments. Yeah, because there's what no are cure. The symptoms. Oh, that's Eagle a picture. Point. That's a picture. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not me trying to tap the Google. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. But what were you asking me? What were I was what? asking like, what are the symptoms of this diagnosis that make you feel like this is what you have? Um. This is another picture, by the way. Oh. I wanted to you scroll. See, you see what that picture? That's what I see all the time. Let me see. Oh, blurry vision, cloudy. Can is I it hard see? to drive at night? Can headaches. Wow, you need some fucking glasses. <laughs> no, no, like that's what they're saying. He's like tripping glasses on won't acid. Help. Oh, so what do you do? Yeah. <laughs> so what they're saying is like there's different types of contacts. Mm. So like I would, I'm thinking I would have to get a soft contact that is covered by a hard contact. Mm. So it's like two contacts, and it's it's so messed up. I was reading this stuff. That's it's called annoying. piggybacking. Yeah. Um, for anyone who's listening and is curious, it's spelled K-E-R-A-T-O-C-O-N-U-S, and this is not his official diagnosis. It's so, not. It's, yeah. You know, just just take it with a grain yeah. of salt. Uh, uh, uh. But if you guys want to see, like, the picture of, like, how he sees, it's just like... Just find a picture like of someone blurry... drunk driving. <laughs> yeah, Oh, actually, my gosh, yeah. Actually. You know those commercials? Like, arrive yeah. alive, call a cab. Just watch a and mad show... commercial. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> the blurriness. Looks yep. like... Just watch a mad commercial. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's like, you can see things, but there's no, like, definition, see. especially lights and stuff at night, which yeah. I understand, because a lot of people have night blindness, but, like, I'm sure yours is just worse. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, man. Got them I don't really drive at night. So. Got the natural 2020s. Well, I mean, it's raining outside, so the sun's going down, so it's going to be dark as hell when you leave here. I just have to cover my left eye and drive. I'm joking. I'm joking. Got like them. I just cover both eyes and I wing it. <laughs> Jesus, take the wheel. Got them hawk Hold eyes. <laughs> Hubie Doobie, how are you? I'm alive. That is good. I'm all right. Shit. You didn't ask the status of your... What? What status? Like, you said you were alive. You just said, how are you? I'm alive. <laughs> Joe, how are you? Um, I am oh, good. That's a toot. Yeah, I had a feeling. Oh boy, that's a toot toot. Oh my god, I hate it. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Um, I wanted to ask you guys because I feel like this will open everyone up for judgment, all of us. <laughs> But not not the way you're oh, thinking. Oh, oh. <laughs> what order do you guys get dressed in after you come out of the shower? Uh oh, I'll go first. I'll go first. Yeah. Okay. So I barely dry myself off. Let's get get that straight. I don't think anyone thought you thoroughly okay. dried either yeah. one of you. Not a chance. Yeah. <laughs> um I go boxers, shirt, pants, socks last. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't yeah, I don't get dressed. <laughs> like, I don't like, think I don't about get... it. I just put my boxers on. I don't fuck. I don't know who the hell thinks this hard? Oh, you have an order. You don't no. have an order. You don't. I just think about it, pants. but it's like know, something that you just do. Put boxers on and pants or shirt off. When I put know. the shirt on first, it makes me feel. This is gonna sound weird, but it makes me feel womanly, because Why? I'm used to like. Is your dick swinging all over the like, place? I'm used move. to women just wearing the shirt and like maybe underwear or nothing underneath, just yeah. a lot. And that's like I can't do it, uh, so that's why I go boxers for and cover my privates. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it is weird, like walking with a t-shirt with no underwear. Yeah, that's kind of weird. That's why I put boxers first, and then the t-shirt, like and then pants. I don't really think of it like that. I just put on boxers. You just put clothes on. Yeah. Sometimes no boxers. No, I always have boxers. <laughs> oh, I'll just wear shorts. I'll go commando in like yeah. basketball shorts yeah. or some shit. I don't have basketball shorts, but shorts. <laughs> Boxing shorts. Yeah, I'll just go commando. Yeah, you you don't put on socks though. 
No, I'm not a psychopath. The other day I was talking to him and he was like, why would I wear socks in the house? I'm not crazy. And I'm like, okay, weirdo. Like, don't your feet ever get cold? No. See, I can, I hear that. I put socks on if I'm going somewhere. Yeah. If I'm in the house and I'm not going anywhere, sure. Yeah. Actually, sometimes when I'm going places, I still don't put well, socks I'm on. I'm going to waste some clean Is it socks. weird that I wear socks to sleep? Yep. Yes. Yep, I always thought that was weird. Yes. I think that's weird. Why? Thing. Murderers wear socks to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> always, my whole life. That's weird. Even in the summer when it's I, hot, I'd yeah. rather stick my foot out. Yep. If I fall asleep with socks on, I will wake up just yep. to take the socks yep. off and go back to sleep. It's like yep. maybe a couple times. Like I can probably count on one hand how many times a year I sleep without socks. That's disgusting. Yeah, you're weird. Yeah, I, I love, like, I my feet get so cold. Like, even if I'm out and I'm wearing, like, sandals or, like, shoes that mm-hmm. I obviously can't wear socks with. And I, if I'm out, then I'm fine. But if I'm going to someone's house, I carry socks in my purse so I can, I can put, put them socks on. on. Yeah, because like most people don't have heated floors and it's cold. That's, no one has heated floors. <laughs> A lot of people have heated no, floors. No, who the hell do these people you know? You know some rich ass people then. I mean, who the hey, you gotta elevate floors? your circle, the right? Hell? Can't be hanging out with broke bitches all, right, all my life. <laughs> um, my order is usually underwear, bra. And then, like, shirt and pants depends. Like, those can be interchangeable. I feel like that should be every... Like, and then yeah. socks are last. There's... Every now and then, we'll all go, like, bra first. But, like, it still feels weird. I feel like you need... Like you said, you gotta cover up yeah. your, your your no-no yeah. zone. <laughs> yeah, first. Um, yeah. Usually, Chi-chi. it is first. But it's, like, every now and then, like, I reach for the bra first. And I'm like, oh, God. I- no, I can't! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, um... No, it's... Uh, I was watching something. And then this guy... <laughs> He starts off and he said it with his whole chest. He's like, okay, so I go socks. Oh my God, I knew you were going to say <laughs> and that. And the minute he said that, it was like, what? How do you? Yeah, socks first? What? <laughs> what? what do you care that, about? That uh, is a last. psychopath. You guys want to talk about me? For, <laughs> I still put on my socks last. Always. That, always, yeah. always. Always. The other stuff can be kind of interchangeable. But it just feels weird. Yeah, usually it's like... like you put the bottom stuff on first, then the top. So yeah. it's like underwear, then bra, then pants, then shirt. Yeah. But sometimes it can be interchanged, but always, always, always socks last. Are you okay? You yeah. Look, you look like uh, you're like about to cry. Like, you know, like in a music video? No, I just yawned. Oh, uh, is that why your eyes are like, look yep. like they're watering? Yep. I'm only tired. Uh, shitty finger. Um, yes, sir. <laughs> um, like, that's me. <laughs> so... I was told as crazy as everything you talk about is, like one of my friends, he's like, yeah, like if I'm going to go, you know, do number two, I take a roll and I put it in the toilet. That way it doesn't splash. Yeah, a lot of people do that. It's also quieter. And I was like... That's just a waste of toilet paper. That's what I said. But sometimes and you he's gotta just like, do that when people could hear you. Like if you're in oh, public. Oh, oh, people can hear me. Boo. Oh. Yeah, some people have a little more dignity oh, than no. you. Oh, no. Oh, they hear me. Boo, boo. I, I agree with I'm you. I'm so anxiety. Oh, they hear me. Boo in a Des, bathroom. You, oh. You would hate it off. if you went to the bathroom right now and we could hear you dropping a load. You would That'd hate it. That'd be funny. It. You know what? I would hate it, but I wouldn't think to waste toilet paper because of that. You don't put that much. It's I wouldn't put any of that. Uh, I have laugh. <laughs> no, I don't. I, you. I, I if I so the, laugh, the poop hitting the toilet. Yeah, that'd be him. funny. If he was doing that, I'm like, like, I'm going to get hemorrhoids. Don't do that. Like, oh, cool. <laughs> don't strain that hard. Uh, 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 do, do you make noise when you... <laughs> no. Nah. Okay. I'm just like, maybe like... Uh, that's it. Yeah, I told you when I'm on the phone with him, that's what I hear. You hear like the sigh, and then you hear the plop, and you're like, oh, Hugh yeah. are you on the toilet? Yeah, it was yesterday, too. What do you mean? Uh, you know what I mean. Did I, did I talk to you yesterday? <laughs> yeah, I was taking a shit. You were on the toilet? Yep. Oh, my God. The more you know, the more you grow. The more you know. Yeah. Reading rainbow. There's certain things I wish I didn't know. That's okay. We all live. Oh, God. All right, Hugh. I don't know. You said you had a story. Oh, my personal story. <laughs> my personal story. Oh, uh, yeah. My friend um was at a bar and uh, he saw <laughs> Sorry, a girl. Sorry, I have to interrupt. <laughs> you always do You love that. it, don't you? <laughs> he does this, like, build up. He's like, my personal story. <laughs> and he goes, okay, so my friend. Um, <laughs> it's like, like, you build us up just to let us down a little bit. I don't care. So um, oh, I know. Go ahead. My friend was at a bar. I can't remember what day it was. But is he, this recently? I don't know. Oh. Um, he was at a bar, and he saw a girl. He saw his friend's girlfriend, um, 
cheating on him. And, uh... What was she doing? I can't remember what he said. He was, like, kissing up some guy or whatever. And then she saw him, and he was like, are you here with anyone else? Obviously alluding to her boyfriend. Yeah. And he was just like, oh, no. And then she was kind of acting all shifty and whatnot. Of course. She doesn't want to, like, bait out her. Yeah. No, she knows he saw. Here's the thing where I think she's a dum-dum. This is a bar they go to regularly. So why would she shoot at a regular bar? Maybe she likes the service. Maybe she just went to the bar and then <laughs> maybe she's she a dumbass. That that, yeah, um, yeah, that one too. <laughs> so he was pretty much like asking me and my friends like, should he tell the his friend? And I was like, yeah, tell him, bro club, bro. I think it's the right thing to do, but I think if you're gonna tell someone something like that, you gotta snap some pictures. You need evidence. That's really goofed. Because, but the thing is, a lot of people when it comes to relationships, they're very much so of the mindset like. Stay in your lane. You didn't see. You didn't. You mm-hmm. don't know what you saw. But like when you come to them with proof and you're like you're coming from a, nah. a loving place, a lot of people can be receptive. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's different with with guys. I no, just if know my friend came with to a me lot of girlfriends, that. they they tend to get defensive with stuff like that. Because they're dum dums. No, if my friend it's came like, up don't to talk me about my man, you don't know. No, that was my his sister. You know, if my buddy came up to me and told me that, I'd, I'd believe him. I have no reason to think he's lying. But I told him, tell him, tell the guy. What I would do is I would tell her. You got two options. Uh, you you can tell him first, I but I promise you by tomorrow or, you know, by so-and-so date, uh, me and him are going to talk uh, and I'm going to bring it up. Uh, uh, and if she's like, oh, my God, you can't. Okay, then you do it. We're dating for like five years. Yeah, no. Ooh. Yeah, so once he said that, I was like, oh, yeah, tell him. Tell him. Yeah, yeah the it's thing done. is, it's like, done. getting getting the proof is where, like, you kind of solidify that, like, you're not trying to be messy. Because, like, you have proof. Like, you're not just saying it to say mm-hmm. it. The person can't say, oh, maybe. I know maybe. you wanted her. No, like, it can't even be like, oh, maybe you didn't see it right. Yeah, maybe, maybe you were drunk or. Or or maybe it was, like, her friend and they were hugging. Like, they weren't nah, kissing. Nah, like, nah, you yeah. know? But, like, when there's no proof, like, you can you can say things. Because people want to believe the best in, in their significant other. But when you're like, nah, man, they were tonguing each other down. Here's a picture. Just took it on my. Tongue in his asshole, man. <laughs> yeah, right at the bar. Same thing what he was saying. Like, I would. I would 100% like no matter who the girl is I would believe my friend yeah. I'm like I don't need pictures I don't need this or that I would believe my friend too but I'm gonna come to you and I'm gonna ask you yeah. and you know if you or like no like yeah I saw him but like I wasn't doing anything like uh, that right. blah, blah, blah. Just take my phone out and be like George <laughs> it, oh we had yeah, yeah this is something phone. like this before uh, we had a topic and that's what we said uh, we'd call the significant other or the friend and be like okay what did you tell me again Oh, what was it if you came home and damn it, forget it because I don't remember. <laughs> or like you like FaceTime the person. Yeah, but I remember. Like, hey, look who I'm with at the bar. Because oh, I remember you were her. like, if you came home and and I said I would ask my friend like, do you like her? Blah 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 blah. And you're like, you would confront both of them at the same time. Like you're not going anywhere. I'm gonna call him or her, and they're gonna come here and we're gonna talk about this because there's no he, there's no room for he said. She yeah, said there's none. In the room. Everyone's right here. Yep. You guys can argue it out. I don't care. I feel like some people see that as like messy, but I see that I as see the that most as direct cleaning way. that. Yeah, it's like okay, you're saying something, you're saying something. Let's all get together. I and don't get know to the, the truth. truth exactly. Because if I go to you, we have a conversation. Then I'm like, oh, like Eugene said this, da da da. Des, what do you say? And then I go back to oh, Des you, said like, that you. Yeah, da, 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 da. no, let's all sit down and like you guys said this. Is it true? And you guys are face to face, and it's like you know get the truth out. Because now she's gonna be like, well, no, that's not what happened. First of all, your friend's been hitting on me mm-hmm. since. I met you he's and always wanted me. yeah he's been in my I don't DMs crusty ass cause too. clearly she's not above lying yeah she's not so Jesus sorry. Christ you know that is glass right yeah like, I said sorry take it easy <laughs> take it easy there Hulk <laughs> um can I ask you guys a question yep <laughs> yes. um if you could be any superhero that quote unquote already li- already exists I know you're ready <laughs> I know you're ready who would you be? I'd, uh, I'd be Wolverine. You'd be Wolverine. Is there any specific reason other than? Uh, he's Canadian. Um, <laughs> uh, I like he's an antihero, and mm. uh, he's just a cool guy. But mostly, I like that he's an antihero and that he's Canadian. See, Wolverine's my favorite character, but I, I like the fact that like he, as long as he has, and I googled this, as long as he has like one cell, he can just regenerate himself. Yeah. That is amazing. Yeah. Yeah, but like when you see him, 
like especially in Logan, it's like he just wants to die, man. That's all he wants to it's do. Like, I know, but he can't. So it's like you know, it's also like torture. You know, I love it. I love it. Um, if I if I could, I would honestly just be Flash. I'm not gonna lie to you. Why? I would not guess that for I know. you. Um, Go back in time. I would have guessed like an Iron Man for you. No, God, I hate Tony Stark. Oh God. Yeah, but like you would be like it would be Des. It wouldn't be Tony. Oh, Stark. it wouldn't be. be yeah, but be when Des I say Wayne. hate Tony Stark, like I hate the idea of you being a regular person getting into a suit. Why? I, That's Batman. I Batman hate Batman. Can't do shit. I love Batman. I hate Batman. Batman. His Batman's superpower like, is being rich. That's it. And I hate my, that. Uh, but Tony Stark is the same but thing. But you no, know, he's also a genius. Batman's, Batman's pretty also, smart. Yeah. Tony, Stark, also. To, Tony Stark is smarter than Batman. No, like, let's just, you know yes, what? I, I, I would Batman, disagree with no, you. No, Batman just does just good things, but without the power Batman suit. Batman can't even get himself a fucking lozenge ba- for his... No, 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 <laughs> okay. no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> you will not Dude, have this. <laughs> every superhero in the Justice League is scared of Batman. Because he knows all I'm their secrets. I'm not scared of Batman. <laughs> you should be. <laughs> the fuck? The fuck? You the Joker's scared. not scared either. The Joker, that's his best buddy. That's his brother. No, everyone's scared. <laughs> everyone's scared of Batman because you can't figure him out. I remember there's that clip of everyone getting mad at Batman for turning on Wonder Woman. And I was like, no, that's a that's a smart man. I'm not scared of Batman. You should. Batman's scared of pussy. He not. I'm not scared of Batman. <laughs> he ate pussy. He doesn't. It's his bosses they, that don't they, like they pussy. S- they said that Batman can't eat pussy because it's not well, a good because look. Because it's not a good look for a superhero. <laughs> Batman been yamming. Uh, Jojo. Ew. <laughs> what would you be? Who? Sorry. Um, who do you think I would be? Um, I go. I think you'd be Wonder Woman. I just feel like the mentality you have, you you want to be able. I don't know if that, but you want to be able to do everything. Like if a guy can do it, I can do it. If I want to do this, I want to be able to do that. Okay, is that and that's do you, do you to me? That that's a, what I see Wonder in a good way. In a okay, because I was like, that no, could no, be no, taken, no, 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 you know. no, in a good way, and that's what I see Wonder Woman as because it's not like she no, can just do like one Captain thing. Marvel. No, I just think like, she's whatever useless. whatever a man can do, I can do. No, that's just Brie Larson. <laughs> that's just Brie Larson. That's, that's just her. Um, what, what do you think I would be? I don't know. Um, Like, because I love Spider-Man and he is my favorite, I want to say Spider-Man. But, like, honestly, I'm kind of... Want to shoot webs from your asshole? No, from my, from my vagina. <laughs> oh, yum, yum. Um, oh, side note. Yesterday... Uh, m- one of my other good male friends called my vagina dusty. Oh my! And God. I was like, "Why is it that all the men in my life are?" Because co- you two did it a couple weeks ago. I'm just and I'm going like, off what you said. I'm like, "No, I never said my vagina is dusty." I need to fuck right off. And I'm like, "How dare you guys?" So it would make sense that I'm spider man because I have cobwebs down there. Uh, yeah. But no, um, I'm kind of us. I'm kind of drawn to Mystique to be honest. Really? Yeah. Why? I think she's really cool. She's strong. She's powerful, and she could be anyone. Okay. You know the power to like morph. Yeah. And then the Wolverine comes and is like, yeah. Ah, that bitch! I knew it was you. <laughs> so it's kind of funny that like both of you went in the like X Men direction because like I'm a huge fan, but like, yeah, if I could be like Mystique with webs. I mean, That's not how it works. <laughs> I know. I think if I, I can help you out there, um. The two of you went in the X Men direction. I went in the DC direction when I said Flash. Oh well. Oh, sorry. I thought you said Wolverine, but you Batman. No, Wolverine. Batman's Batman's my second favorite. I hate that guy. I used to hate him, and then I learned to like him. I hate him because I realized that he's just a guy, but he fucks everybody up. That's not what I want. What are Aquaman's powers? To call the sea, talk to fish. So on land, what can he do? He's he's super strong. Oh okay. Yeah. You can beat up Wonder Woman. I feel like in order to to pack no a, way to, to no pack way. a punch yeah. in water, you have to be very strong because like you know yeah, the, the, the force velocity and, yeah. of the water and everything would slow you down. So it's like I I get that. God damn! Um, Look at that storm. So I don't know if you guys heard, but um, it's raining outside. By the way, that's why he yeah, said that. No full on thunderstorm outside. Yeah, so like you guys it's cloudy. This is what I see. By the way. <laughs> that's that's my regular vision. Oh, I don't like laughing at that. I feel bad because like you were my friend. Like you could see everything, everything from so far, and I, now I can't. Not see. even far. You could see wide too. I feel yeah. like you had like far and widescreen vision. I still do. Like right now, like I can still see you. Well, yeah, it's yeah. called peripheral. I know, but like it's so wide. I think people's per- like I don't know why. I think mine is just wider than most people. Because your eyes. Um, but yeah, I don't know if you guys heard, but uh, they're coming out with a Marvel series called She-Hulk. 
Um, for those of you who don't know, that's the female Woo. version of the Hulk. Oh no, shit! <laughs> and um, <laughs> our favorite woman is going to be a part of it. We Who's don't... our favorite woman? Meg. Me? Come on. Who's your guys' oh, favorite woman? Meg. I thought I was supposed to be. That's ours. <laughs> Who's ours? Ours. It's you two. That's all of ours. Yeah, I'm good. Ratchet bag. Nah, um, but nah. Meg, you the don't like stallion. her. I don't, I don't like much her. Care for. I don't really have an opinion. You don't. Oh, I don't like, I like her. her. I don't like her. Music? Grungy style, like grungy style. Yeah, what are you mm. talking about? Like I, th- okay, she's <laughs> on the you. same boat as Cardi to me, and I think Cardi's annoying, so annoying. Everything she says comes out of her mouth is annoying. But Meg's not like I get, like I love Cardi too, but like I get why you say Cardi's annoying, but like Meg isn't. To me, Meg, like Meg, fits in the same boat as Cardi. Like, just mm. tone it down, please. I get it. Oh. You have money, you have power now. You want to. Act the way you want to act. That's fine, but I'm not here for it. Body, yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. That's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> that's annoying. <laughs> Don't fuck me like that. It's funny like this. Shut up. How about that? <laughs> that Real from? hot girl shit. Yeah, that's her song. What? The same song. That's what she says in part of the song. What did she say? Don't fuck me like that. Fuck me like this. <laughs> for someone who hates her, you certainly know her. Lyrics. Because I like the baby, and he comes right after she says that. Mm. Some on the legs on the counter. <laughs> wow, sound just like him. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so she's Let's gonna be go. She Hulk. Um, it is not said. Um, and she thought. will not come out and say it if she is yeah, or not. Under, under contract yeah, or whatever. yeah. So they say she's gonna be in quite a few episodes. I personally believe they will turn her into She Hulk, or they're <laughs> trying to get her to go that direction, but they Why can't say it. Why are you laughing? Halfway there. Oh my god, that's mean. How is it mean? She What's fits wrong with it perfectly. She she's a big. What's wrong with She Hulk? She's not big. No, but she's she's, she's like five ten. She's, she's, she's tall and, and she's she's, thick. she's stocky. She's not that far off. She's tall and thick, so that means she's a Hulk. She Hulk. Yeah. Have that's you seen She Hulk? The Hulk is a. Look at a picture of She Hulk. A monster. <laughs> look at a picture <laughs> of She Hulk. I'm not talking about Hulk. I'm talking about She Hulk. Look at She Hulk. <laughs> a, look at a picture of She Hulk. Yeah, show me a picture, cause. You think She-Hulk just like built like Hulk? No. To be this honest, I don't know much about She-Hulk. I just know it's a. That is a skinny woman. That's because we're looking at like cartoon <laughs> version, man. Cartoon version, everything is skinny. Do you see these pictures? That's a slim build woman. I'm the one at the top. It's all slim build. That's uh, like uh, these are like um, like Pilates women in the like nineties aerobics. Oh, yeah. there you go. Okay, so she has muscular arms? That's Meg. Meg is not that far away. Why do you think Tori shot her? Oh, my uh, God. <laughs> she got, Des Wayne, she blind got, ass. Get the hell out she, of here. Like, she Hulk got big boobs. She got big boobs. She got a big butt. She got a big butt. She's tall. She's tall. She's halfway there. Just paint I, her green. I can see. I can see. I can see. Paint her green. I see what you're saying, Hugh, and I agree with Thank you. Thank you. By, I'm not by using that as an definition, insult. No, I just feel like any woman who's relatively tall could play She Hulk. But she fits fits it perfectly. Yeah, she's not that far off. Not as an insult. She's not that far off. Like Michelle Obama has jacked nah, arms. No, not Michelle Obama. She's too old. No, I'm just. <laughs> she's too old. <laughs> I'm just talking about. She's the too physique. nice. Eat your vegetables. Yeah, she can be She Hulk and show how to manage your anger in a healthy way nah, for the children. Nah. Nah, the, <laughs> nah, we got we got her She Hulk. We got her She Hulk. I I hope she ends up playing She Hulk. That'd be some entertainment. Uh, I don't know if you guys heard, but did you hear that The weekend is trying to go along the acting route now? No, but it doesn't surprise me. Yeah. It does um, not surprise me at all. What's he trying to act in? Uh, we don't know, but <laughs> we have we? seen <laughs> me and uh, all TMZ and all these people. Um, you say that like you work for them? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they seen her. It seemed him and Cameron Diaz have quite a few dates. Oh, cool. But they don't want to go along the road of romantic. They think it's more so advice because she has come out and said he has asked him in the past. He has asked her in the past yeah, like, about what? the acting stuff. <laughs> mm. Okay. So mm. Sick. this would be interesting. Oh, and there's a new series coming out where he's he half wrote or yeah, half wrote. And he's going to be like one of the main characters in oh, there. Cool, cool. Since when are you so knowledgeable about the weekend? Um, since we do a podcast every week. Oh. I got to keep up with the stuff that I don't care about. Okay, okay. Cute, take notes. <laughs> what, what song is that? It wasn't a song. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> um, I couldn't tell you the last time I heard somebody do that in water. <laughs> yeah, that's like what a child does. Yeah, in the I pool. used to do it with milk. When oh, I, so the milk, bubbles. The bu- yeah, mm-hmm. I used to do it too. And you could do it right until it reaches the top, mm-hmm. and then you and let, then it, you go let it go back down. Yeah, because yeah. if you let it go over, you're gonna get oh, in trouble. Wow. wow, that lightning! I felt like I just like. Someone, so, like, someone, you know, uh, picture, picture day, picture yeah, day at school. Flash. Smile. This is hydroplaning weather, man. Oh my god! Can you guys hear mm, that did, thunder? No, you definitely heard. They that. definitely heard the That's whole thing. Crazy. I wish you guys saw the window oh, shake. Now it's, now it's back up. Yeah, it's not as like a uh, cloudy. Des probably can't tell the difference. No, I can't. No, you guys are like <laughs> it's clearing. Weird obsession of clouds lately. Yeah, that is weird. I've been taking yeah. pictures. There's something pretty about clouds. Yes, you have been taking mm-hmm. pictures. I was just outside and I was like, that's a, that's a nice looking cloud. And I just got my camera and I zoomed in. And I was like, that's pretty cool. All right. So now we are going to get to listener submitted questions. <laughs> this is the portion of the podcast where someone who, you know, has listened to the podcast has a story that they want to share with us and want us to react to, um, a question that they want an answer to, or just whatever, something to share. Oh, um, if you guys are listening and you want to be a part of it, you want to be a part of the podcast and have something to share, you can do so by going to thisquareroom.com slash ask. Um, that is our website. You can go directly to thisquareroom.com and click the ask us tab, or you can just go to thisquareroom.com slash ask. So actually, okay. So um, Mikey, my bad. You actually had written an email before um, and I, I don't, I just missed it. I don't know how. Wow. So um, I was going to do two questions, but it's going to be technically three, but two of them are from Mikey because I missed a previous one of his. So my bad. That's 100% on me. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All on you. <laughs> so um, this one, this was from a, probably a couple podcasts ago, but he says, hey, guys, I just have two simple questions and one little side thing. So this podcast is basically the only podcast I listen to weekly, all day, every day. It's probably a problem, but you guys are very enjoyable. That sounds like a problem. (laughs) We don't make enough. The podcast isn't long enough for it to be all day. How many listen to you are you? Well, okay. It's a. I don't think he's listening. Come on, man. Go outside. What the fuck? (laughs) No, he's. It's a saying. But um, yes, he said it's probably a problem. But you guys are very enjoyable to listen to, and the chemistry you all work perfectly. Thanks, man. Thanks. Thank you. Um, now that I boosted all of your egos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, take me down, buddy. <laughs> take me down. Oh, okay, Chris Brown. Um, he says, now that I boosted all your egos, what is the future of this square room? Also, if you have them, what goals do you all individually hope this square room completes? Finally... Okay, you know what? The next part is about some homework from you, so I'll, I'll read that part after. Oh, great. So the first half of this, um, I'll answer the part about like the future of this square room. We were actually talking about it uh, right before this, ironically, not because of your question. But, um, I mean, the plan is eventually to migrate to video, because right now we are an audio-only podcast. Mm. And have been so since the start, but we definitely um, do want to bring it to you guys in video format every week. So I would say that is in the future. I want you to see our beautiful faces. (laughs) Yeah, and see the the looks we give Hugh when he says some ridiculous (laughs) things. Um, Yeah, and then so the second part was also, if you have them, what goals do you all individually hope this square room completes? So I'll let you guys go first, if you have any. To be number one. You're so dramatic because you don't care about that. I don't. Um, but I would actually like it would boost my ego a thousand times more if I hear like we're top five in all of Canada. I, you know, saying the world would be nice, but let me <laughs> let me we'll tone it down. One continent yeah, at, at a time. time. I feel like that's fair. We want North America. <laughs> yeah. So that would that would that's my goal. Yeah, I mean, I would say like. Um, we've been growing at a pretty steady state and it's it's great um, for all of you guys who are new if this is your first episode we, we genuinely appreciate it so much so I would just Thanks. say continued growth um, con- for me it's continued growth and then eventually to migrate to video um, with that being said we would still keep the audio episodes every single week so those of you who listen at work and stuff like that like that would not change it would just be a bonus um, Q anything? not really just a uh have guests just eventually have more guests yeah that'd be nice 
Yeah. Mm, that's what I. So have more guests. That's what I've always video, wanted. Video. Video. Rule the world. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds about that's right. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So the second part that he asked is, he says, finally, I got some homework for Mr. Eugene. Uh huh. <laughs> It's uh, and he spelled your name correctly. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, that looks long. Huh? <laughs> oh, are you looking in the always, mirror behind me? Always, I hate always. that. I'm like, how can you see? Because I got hot um, eyes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> Eugene, it's don't rub it in. We have a blind it's man in the room. Yes, yeah, please. Have some respect. We got two. We got a manufactured 2020, and we got blind man. First of all, I said what I said. How dare you call me a blind man for a I said manufacture. Manufacture was the part I was stuck at. I, I said manufacture 2020. I said version. we have a blind man in the room. You said we have two. Yeah. You, you're <laughs> manufactured 2020 and you got blind over right here. First She's on all, the man part. I wasn't. Yeah. yeah I manufactured. Wasn't, I wasn't blind. No, man. Oh. Man. Blind man. man. Well, man. Still man. <laughs> I wasn't blind, but yes, I got LASIK. First, I what if I wanted blind. to keep that a secret? What if I was insecure about it? The way you treat me, I should be insecure about it. Damn. <laughs> um, yes, he said, finally got some homework for Mr. Eugene. Mm-hmm. It's not really homework, but more of a recommendation. I just wanted to recommend. I was like, what was that sound? I think it was like a car screeching on the road. Probably I because that was you. First of all, the rain just stopped. Am I crazy? Yeah, tropical storms. Whenever it comes down like that, you know it's going to end soon. It looked so intense. And yeah, then that's just... how it always been for the last couple of weeks. I hate that. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's done. <laughs> Sounds like you on the toilet. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> that is exactly what I was going to say. Um, yes, he said, it's not really homework, just more of a recommendation. I just wanted to recommend Hugh this comedy special by Bo Burnham on Netflix called All the Inside. New one. I've heard of this one. I've been I like Bo. To watch I like it. Bobo. I've heard it's good. Um, he said he's probably already seen it because it's been getting no, a lot of attention. I haven't seen it. But just thought it'd be a good little thing to watch. Okay. Also, Hugh, I'm done with the weight of a superior man book. Oh God. Um, I'm like near or a bit past. Oh, sorry. He said he's almost done. My oh, okay. apologies. He said, I'm like near or a bit past halfway. However, the past three days have gotten me busy, but I will find a good amount of time to finish it. And then I'll check out the second book. That's pretty much it. Thanks, guys. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful book. He might be done now because this is, like I said, yeah. I, I missed no, this that, uh, that question. Book's a, it's a beautiful book. I think it's like every book and every every guy should read. Way of a Superior Man. <laughs> it's, it's a really good book. Sounds very Kevin Samuels it's, to me. It's not. It's, <laughs> very, it's a very beautiful book. Okay, what's, what was it about? It's just about masculinity and whatnot. Okay. It's beautiful. It's a good book. It's one of those books, like, it's just one of those books I think every guy should read. It's like one of those books I wish I had when I was like 18. And so that's why I was like, I sent it to him. He's probably, I said to him, he's like, I think I said to him, like, you're probably not going to get some things, but it's one of those books you'll go back. It's one of those things you have to go back yeah. to multiple times. Eventually in life, you'll reach that point and be like, ah, oh, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, here yeah, we yeah, are. That's a good book. <laughs> So um, the the more recent question that he submitted, um, he says, "Hey guys, so Hugh hey gave me uh, <laughs> what was that?" He's just hey guys. Um, he said, "So Hugh gave me two books to read, but since I'm dyslexic, I went Welcome with the party, Ben. I went with listening to the audiobooks and said, first of all, if we weren't sure if he's your son or not, then that that, <laughs> that, that, that was it." <laughs> I would no. I would say like yeah. I get the whole dis. Uh, see, <laughs> no. I would say still get the book, and even though it's gonna take time to read, just this. I always use my finger, or I'll, or I'll find myself like re- saying something that's not there, and it's like wait a second. And so just yeah, just go back and forth. I think it's. I don't like. I prefer reading than uh, compar- compared to audiobooks. Because audiobooks is like you can't really remember, and it's. Well, uh, I feel like audiobooks. Like if you like podcasts, you like audiobooks. Eh, the audiobooks they're just not the same. It's not the same as reading a book. I feel like with the book, actually, I retain it more. I was trying to read, um, like I was trying to read, listen to the Book of Five Rings, like the samurai book. And it was just like, ah, it's just not the same. So I was told myself I'll buy it because it's a quick one. Yeah. So he was saying, um, he, so he said he listened to the way of the superior man. Mm. Um. Oh, so I think he that means he is done. Mm. So he said, what I got from this book is that it's basically had a how a how to guide on how to be the best man, or as the book title says, the superior man. Mm. For me, though, I still think like a complete child, and I don't have a good grasp of what adulting is like. It doesn't get any easier. You're never going to get a full grasp. No, no so you won't get a full grasp until you're like 60. And <laughs> even <laughs> then, you're like, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what you're, I'm doing? Well, oh, hey, you kind of learn as you go, but like the part of learning is that like you still realize there's so much more yeah. to learn. Like, <laughs> so, I'm 40. <laughs> okay. How do I um, get mad? So he says, so for future me... 
I will hopefully try to remember and come back to reread this book again and get a better understanding. However, I did find a chapter interesting and thought of a question to ask. In this chapter, it gives a scenario. Your partner is being sent to war. You say your final goodbyes and after the emotional moment, you head your separate ways. You arrive home hoping for the best and when you suddenly get a knock on your door, it's your partner. They ditch their responsibilities to be with you instead. My question is, how would you react? The reason I ask this is because in the chapter, long story short, it claims that a woman doesn't want to be the man's number one priority. So I wanted to get your separate opinions. So would you all want your partner to make you their number one priority? That's all for this one. I also have some homework for all of you. It's more of a recommendation so you don't have to do it. I recommend watching this. Con- oh, Bo Burnham. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was just for me. That was just for me. Fuck everyone else. It's just for me. No, it was just for you the first time, but we didn't nah, acknowledge it. Nah, fuck y'all. It's just for me. Fuck y'all. Oh, yeah, us. Yeah, you okay. too. <laughs> you too. Well, it's already on my to watch list. Fuck so. off. <laughs> it's only for me and whose Netflix are you going to use to watch it yours Mine. Yeah. <laughs> you asshole I have my sights we should watch it together yeah sure wow sounding real enthusiastic <laughs> there damn I'll watch it with this <laughs> um uh, da, 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 inside by Bo Burnham he said it's pretty unique to me and I enjoyed watching I'll see if I can come up with a question for the other book you gave me thanks guys um oh so, I'll go I want to go I want to go yeah Oh, you want to reread the question? If okay, you, go if ahead. If you need it? No, I don't. Okay, go. Okay. Um, I I don't want to be my partner's number one priority um, because I, I don't want to say I don't feel like I'm worth it. I just feel like when you make somebody your number one priority and then certain things happen, you react in a way that's not logical because you are so strong on this person being number one and now that there's a possibility that they're not number one you don't know what to do with your life you don't know what to where to go or what to say or whatever so to me if that was me and like let's say my partner um you know go off to war i go home and now they're not at the door you're at the door i would probably try and motivate you to go because maybe you like if it's something they wanted to do and they weren't forced to do I would try and motivate them to go. Um, if it's something they were forced to do, now we will run away together forever. Because <laughs> if you stay here, they will come for you. Right. So. No, well, they were forced to do it. They were? Yeah. Maybe in the book, but. Oh, okay. No, in World War Two. No, no, no. In the book. Yeah. In yeah. this okay. scenario, right? Yeah. So it's just a question. Um, <laughs> well, yeah, I know they were. yeah. If they were forced to do it, then I'm, I'm Well, the thing away. is, the guys weren't like, oh, no, I have to do it. They're like, yeah. I know, but most of the guys but if my partner came back because they're like i can't leave you like i can't do that mm. if i'm trying to motivate them to go and they're like no like i can't shit we have to I'm leave like, them we got to get out of here because <laughs> hit your leg they will hunt you down just say you're allergic to peanuts you. or some shit <laughs> um hey. so but i know that's that's what guys would do i don't agree with making your spouse your number one priority at all times Right. So I'm going to piggyback off of what you just said. I don't believe that your spouse should be your number one priority at all times. But I do believe that they do need to be a priority at times. 100%. There are times when you do need to put that person first. first mm-hmm. um, before friends. Before your, your mother. mother. <laughs> before yourself sometimes. Sometimes you need to think about the needs of your partner. And vice versa, of course. Yeah. It shouldn't be a one-sided thing. So, um, but like, again, if it's something that you know is good for them i think you do need to push them into certain things personally if my partner was like i want to go to war i'd be like come here baby stay home (laughs) that's just me um especially if there were kids involved because it's like i don't want you to go to war i don't want you to potentially lose your life you know that's just me personally but i also agree with you does it like sometimes it's like you know what you need this for yourself let's go so if it was just kind of me no kids and whatever no other obligations i think i would encourage it even though it's like uh, you know don't Mm -hmm. don't really like the idea of war but um yes so to answer the question do i want my partner to make me their priority yes but just not all the time in certain scenarios. I feel like it's a case by case basis. I can't say yes to the blanket statement, but a hundred percent, I do need to be a priority in certain aspects without a doubt. But yeah. like in general, nah, man, live your life. Yeah, I do you? Yeah. Q? What y'all said. <laughs> you I, have nothing to, I have nothing to add. What you guys said. <laughs> I have nothing to add. I should have went first. 
first of all, can I say, Des, I we're very like here today. Yeah, like, yeah, we're yeah, talking yeah. together. We're like little Siamese twins. <laughs> yeah, no, nothing. Bad. <laughs> nothing bad. Um, and then yeah, so I guess I guess you know what? It's funny. Um, the Bo Burnham special. Like, I really have been hearing um good things about it. So Every it's funny that has been good. I've seen I. I don't even know if I've seen a full special of his. I've seen his stuff before, and like he's okay. Like I've, I've he's not okay. He's great. I no, I've liked it, but like he's not like my top comedian. No, he's not my top. I comedian. don't even know who that is. It's okay. I'm missing. Okay, him. thank you. Well, mm-hmm. are you gonna do the homework? Um, last nah, time, last nah, time, last nah, time, last nah, time you tried to nah, do Mikey's homework. Nah, you, this is my you homework. Nearly lost your it's life. your own homework. <laughs> it's mine. Get over yourself. I'm not over myself. <laughs> Fuck you guys. You're like, that's my child. <laughs> um, okay. So we're going to get to one more question. Oh, yes. This one is one from more. Giselle. And the subject is threesome gone wrong. Oh, my God. Why are all these going wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. Don't we have an episode named threesome gone wrong? And it was about the one that you had? Yeah. Yeah, actually, we do. <laughs> someone like come in someone's eye or something? Oh, my God. What? He, you heard what I said. <laughs> Um. So the question is this. What was her name again? Giselle. Giselle. Jizzy with the glizzy. Jizzy, jizzy with the glizzy in her hand. <laughs> I feel like she's just clicked off. <laughs> she's just, she's just turned she's it that off. enough. <laughs> they call me Jizzy. Jizz Wizzy. Oh boy. <laughs> nah, keep going. Nah, I'm done. Right, you can't. You no, know, I can. can. I just don't want to insult you, her. You can't. I can. You I, can't. You can't. Bust a rhyme without like no. insulting someone. No, because no. I was just thinking of just like dirty stuff. I can so believe I was, like, that. Nah, I'm mean, not gonna. To be fair, you guys both called her Jizzy, so he said it first. Jizzy. But no, I know a lot of people named Giselle, and they actually like Jizzy is just the yeah. name. Yeah, they should stop that. <laughs> not everyone has a dirty mind like you guys. Like, hey, Jizzy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just not gonna answer the question. Then? Nope. Um. So yeah. So Giselle says. First of Giz- all, Giselle. You said Janelle. I said Giselle. She said Giselle. I heard Janelle. I, well, fuck it. Just breathe. You heard what you wanted to hear. <laughs> I didn't hear what I wanted to hear. <laughs> yes, you did. Are you going to let me get to the question? Yeah, that's why I said to... get to the question. <laughs> <laughs> I stutter? <laughs> <laughs> you, you actually do a lot. <laughs> um, first of all, thank you for making me laugh my ass off at work every day. No problem. <laughs> I love how you took that as a personal thank you. Because I know it is. He's like, it has to be me. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I lose? I promise you, she's laughing right now. Read the question. She's like, he's so stupid. <laughs> Read. <laughs> um. Uh, she says, I'm in a weird sitch with one of my BFFs ever since St. Patty's Day. That's been a while. Yeah, March. Um, long story short, our friend group got litty that night. Jeez. And all ended up at a hotel. In our drunken wait, stupor. Wait, 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 wait. That's against lockdown, lady. Um, Depends on where she lives. She's breaking the fucking rules. We don't know where she lives. <laughs> She's breaking the rules. <laughs> Continue. No. I'm, I'm calling the police. The states has been open for like a forever, while. Forever, forever. Yeah. Is she married? We don't know. We don't know. You want me to geo track the yeah. email? Because her name like, is Giselle. You're assuming she's from Canada. I don't know any Giselles in Canada. Oh, all right, continue. I feel like Giselle is very like. I don't know. Like imagine like a very, like someone from the UK or Europe. Giselle, we want to know where you're Giselle, from. What is Giselle? Okay, never oh, mind. Boy. Never mind. Hey, you are a L three some. God. Um. Yeah. So got Liddy. Ended up at a hotel. In our drunken stupor, my boyfriend and I ended up having a low key threesome. It's not. There's no. Wait, 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 What's a low wait, key threesome? Wait, stop. She said her boyfriend. This makes this even juicier. What's a low key threesome? You had a threesome. What no, no, s- no. A low key stop. threesome <laughs> is when like, like you really didn't plan it. Let's say like. You and a girl are making out, and then some other girl is kind of there, and mm-hmm. you know you end up touching. <laughs> you're like, get the fuck out of here! <laughs> no, you end up like touching her or like I kissing her or see something. What you're doing, you? Because <laughs> that's the head, funny. right? That's yeah, the head. Go away. <laughs> he was doing the motion of I'm like gently pushing one. someone yeah, away. Fuck off. <laughs> um, 
Okay, but don't think. Okay, no, continue. Ju- no, sorry, Giselle. I gotta talk to you for a second because <laughs> you know I have to read these emails, and you know how these two guys are. So you're putting me in a position where I don't even want to read this email <laughs> because one is you getting to too excited, I'm so excited at the fact of the threesome, and then one is just nitpicking at every little thing. <laughs> I didn't even have to read it. You read it yourself. Well, no. Ne- well, neither of you can read side. coherently, so I have <laughs> to read. Can you read? Give it to me. You're the Give king the of saying I can't Give read. Give it to me. No. Yeah. Um. <laughs> That's right. Uh, so in our drunken stupor, my boyfriend and I ended up having a low-key threesome with one of my other friends. Yes. Let's call her Sarah. Yes. Sarah. Oh, Sarah. Yeah. With an H. With an H. Sarah yes. with an H. She's white as hell. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, <Oop>. Eugene. <laughs> Um, she says no sex. What? Okay. Wait, okay. wait. wait. She, she, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. okay They're just eating vaginas. You're, you're nitpicking at everything. <laughs> He's like, this is not a threesome. This is a she joke. She says no sex, but basically everything else. Oh my what, what's god! Everything else? Sucking everything dick else. and eating vagina. Ah. Okay. I mean that, mean that means fingers. That means mouth. That means licking, everything. But you, he so can't they, have they, sex with so her. They just didn't want to commit. No. I think that's you don't why want she called bo- it a low yeah. threesome. Like it was more low key. Yeah. You know. Okay. Why you look so disappointed? I'm quite disappointed so, so far. Continue. Continue. <laughs> Just continue. Um, yeah, let's call her Sarah. No sex, but basically everything else. The problem is that my BFF's fiance, Tyler, was in the room. What? K. Okay. So remember, it's a it's a bunch of friends. They went out for St. Patty's Day, and uh-huh. they all crashed at the hotel. So there was a bunch of people. Uh-huh. So she said her BFF's fiance Tyler was in the room. She uh-huh. said my BFF had gone home earlier that night after uh-huh. they got in a big fight. Uh-huh. And Tyler, uh-huh. he watched it all go down. Ew. But okay. he was not involved in any way other than watching. Damn, yeah, that's so depressing. Well, he has a fiance. Yeah, he can't get involved. Go home. No, I can't go home because me and her got in an argument and this bitch went home. Go home. He, he can't. He's drunk. You can't drink and drive. Go to your car. No, sit right there and shut the fuck go up. Go to the bathroom. And Tyler, then... sit your ass down and watch. Oh, okay, okay, hold on. We, we didn't get, we were not at least halfway through the story. He's like, man, why am I getting married? Yeah, that's exactly what he's thinking. That's his problem. Why am I getting married? I'm what? Because he that's can't what join I would these be things. Thinking. If he wasn't engaged to her, Tyler would be involved. I would be totally thinking. I'm sitting there. Come on now. Fucking all miserable and depressed. And I don't want to leave just in case you guys do invite me. Well, first, <laughs> I'd be like, why am I getting married? 100%. Why would that make you question getting married? Because that looks three fun. happening in what front you? of me. I, and my girlfriend's at home because he's being a big tit tit head. <laughs> so I'm going to sit there and be like, why am I getting married? He was probably an asshole earlier that night. They're she was probably like, both going cunts. Home. I mean, alcohol was involved, so it's quite Man, possible. I would be like, why am I getting married to this diddly dit dit? <laughs> so so what if she was there? It had to be a five sum? Yes. yes! We're having a group orgy. What are you talking about? Why are about? you here? You think we're just going to watch them fuck? No, but like, if hey, our least... best friend, what if the friend doesn't... Okay, these are all hypothetical. Okay, we didn't even get to the question. question. You're Let's... right, we didn't. Tyler's <laughs> a bitch-ass nigga. That's what Tyler is. No, he's a loyal man. Nah, he's a bitch-ass nigga. I said what I would have went home and I would have went for I my girl. And I would have went home or I would have went in the car. I'm not going to sit You're there. You're going to sit in the car? Loser. I'd rather sit in the car than watch people have threesome and be all depressed that I'm, my life sucks right now. Life sucks. It does suck. It does suck. It does suck. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks. He's probably gonna think about this a lot of the time now. Like, why am I getting married? He's he's definitely thinking about he's it. He's thinking about this. Do you remember too. 20 minutes ago when he was yawning? <laughs> yeah, because we started talking about shit that was interesting. Damn. We just started when you were yawning. We didn't okay. even get to the question. <laughs> um, no, we didn't. So she said, the problem is my BFF's fiance Tyler was in the room. She went home earlier that night because oh. they had a fight. And he watched it go down, but he was not involved in any way other she's, than watching. She's mad no at one intended on this happening. And in the moment, it was all very hot. Mm-hmm. Of course. The next... Gross, does <laughs> You're loving this. Loving. Like, of course. I'm picturing yeah. it. I don't even know what they look like. <laughs> I see Tyler's um, and they're just like, fuck. The, the next morning, my BFF found out that Tyler had been there. <gasps> And she has not talked to any of us since. <laughs> what the fuck? They called off their wedding for the time being. <laughs> End it, Tyler. Our, End it. Our entire friend group has been affected, and I feel like it's being blown out of proportion. It is. Definitely. It is. I feel bad that it no, you're happened. Good. You're good. And I have apologized repeatedly, but ultimately, this is between them. Yeah. yeah. And it's his fault for not going home with her yeah. or leaving that Same night. thing you said. Yeah. I feel like I'm taking the blame for their wedding being called off, and it's ridiculous. 
Am I satanic for things? Satanic. Satanic. Yeah, you're satanic for what you did that in that room. Am I am I satanic for thinking this way? Would love to hear your guys' point. No, of you're being. I, I, okay. I love the, No, 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 Hugh, go first. I, love the I always of go for words of satanic. That was like, a great yeah, choice. Was, yeah, very. very I, I know. I love it. Nah, man, it's not on you. Um, you did what you did, nasty ass hoe. But um, <laughs> you did what you did. She, she's fine. She knows what she got herself into. <laughs> she knows. It's you're not a hoe. Don't worry. Um, a little bit. Um. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's not on you. That's on Tyler. Tyler, I, Tyler's a, like, Ty, like. Uh, why would you say? Why would you say? Like, okay, if they're making out, that's different. But then you, he's you, looking you, at me like, why did he? Stay? Why did you say? You know, he's looking at you because you said you would do the same thing. I would why? stay. Why? I would stay, but I'm not gonna complain no, about it. Tell us, give us the. I'm why not, would I stay? Who would stay? Okay, I would stay. Oh wait, go. You finish. No, yeah, let me finish, please. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> um, no, nah, that's all. The one. If I was, yeah, no, that's all on Tyler. Tyler should have just left. Why are you gonna stay? And then like Sarah being all butt hurt. She's just probably she. No, fuck Sarah. <laughs> oh, not not Sarah. Who's the fiance? Fiance's it name? Sarah. Sarah. Yeah. But yeah. didn't she fuck Sarah? No. No, Sarah went home. Oh, Sarah oh, went home. No, 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 no. The fiance went home. You're right. Sarah's yes. the other friend. Oh, yes. Sarah What's the fiance? Oh, is the other friend. Oh, okay, okay. We didn't give her a name. Let's call her Margaret because okay. that sounds like a miserable yeah, name. We'll call her Margaret. Like this no. miserable chick. We're calling her Margaret. That's her BFF. No, her no. Name. Give her a miserable name. No, Margaret's She's being, being miserable. miserable. Okay. Margaret's not taking any accountability. <laughs> you should have took your dude home. It's not even that you should have took your dude Maybe home. Maybe they don't live together. That's fine. I understand you guys are arguing, but you can't be mad because we got a hotel room. I'm having sex with my boyfriend in the hotel room. Whoever joins that's not your man yeah. is not your problem. You didn't do anything. You are you need to figure this out with your man and be like, you can't be if around my friends. If I was Tyler, I would call it off. Well, it is called off. Yeah, well, yeah. I would call it off off. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, give me that ring or you can take the ring. Goodbye. Because I regret fucking Let's not Let's replay in. that night. <laughs> Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. And don't don't jump down my throat. Like, Jen, Jen, come back. Let's, do, let's have a four. Let's make it four, please. <laughs> what you say? Jen. I'm, Who's that's, Jen? I'm Tyler screaming to Jen. What's her name? Giselle. Jiz. 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 I'm, 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 I'm like, who the hell is Jen? <laughs> I don't know. You said, oh, whatever. Gis, I, it's Giselle, Giselle, Sarah, and Giselle's boyfriend. If yeah. I was Tyler yeah, right now, I'd be screaming to Giselle, please, can we have a round two? No, but now you can't. Why? Because the friend is butthurt. No, fuck this it friend. It doesn't matter because fuck this is Margaret. Giselle's friend. So Yo, Giselle, Giselle, Giselle is going to want nothing to do with Tyler or that situation. Oh, Hold no. on. Hold on. What I was going to say Giselle, is, you're good. First of all, Giselle, you, you did nothing wrong. Nothing you, you at didn't. all. Yeah. You did not. I will say, I low-key understand why um, the bestie, would you call her Margaret? Margaret. Why Margaret is Car upset. Margarine. Because I would be like, <laughs> can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> can't believe it's can't not Can't believe a, she's butthurt. <laughs> yeah. Can't believe it's not a fivesome. <laughs> no, but um, it, I would feel weird if my boyfriend, like my best friend, and her boyfriend having said, like, I would feel weird about that because, like, now you see my best friend naked and. But maybe- now you can't be mad at your best friend, though. No, I wouldn't. Yeah. I wouldn't. That's the thing. Mm-hmm. The only thing I would be, I could under, I don't even know if it'd be relationship ending. I'd be like, ew, you're gross. Why'd you sit there and watch my best friend? Because he's like, it's more than what we do. I agree that, like, yeah, he should have just left. But from the friend's perspective, I wouldn't be mad at my friend. Like, you were doing you. Yeah. He, shit. My fiance was being a creep watching y'all from yeah. the corner of the room, probably beating his meat. Like, that has nothing to do with nothing you. Nothing at all. Like, you guys, he had no involvement. He was Nothing. watching, like, y'all did your thing. Like, yeah. no, Giselle, you didn't do anything. You're not crazy. You're not satanic. I mean, you're a little freak, but, like, we love that here, so love we're it. not going to judge you, you for that. We. we. What do you mean? I'm just joking. Oh, <laughs> no, was you're... that a dig at me? No. Okay. I think that was a dig at himself. Oh, you don't love it? I was just making a joke. Oh. Uh, no, oh, you're... That was so funny. You're good. Um, you're good. No, you're more than good. Um, yeah, the situation's blown out of proportion. Um... If I was the guy, I would stay. Why would I stay? Because I contributed to paying for this hotel, hopefully. And whatever you got. For example, if if the friend was there, if Margaret stayed and you guys were doing that, Margaret would have no problem like kissing up her man and doing maybe whatever she would. with her we don't man. Know the type of person you're she right. You're right. Maybe, maybe she she's would. Like, hey, let's go. Like we maybe. Don't know. We gotta go. We gotta go. However, some people don't want to be involved in an orgy. Too That's much not... satanic shit going on in here. <laughs> no, but it's not crazy. If I'm him, I'm not. Where, where am I going and why? I was having a great night. You want me to go home to be miserable with you? You You see what I mean? Like but she's. Maybe they don't live. Even together. if we don't live together, like 
I don't want to go home. I plan to be out tonight to have fun. Yeah. These guys are doing whatever, whatever. Cool. It didn't sound like he had much fun if he had to like. Well, they watch. had fun, and that's probably why they got Pulling into. In I mean, before that, the other side. I would sit there and watch. No, <laughs> cap. I, I would go to the lobby. I'd watch. I'm not going to no lobby. Like, I'm sitting right here. Your phone? Okay, I'm let's... sitting right here. Do you want me to record? Text me when you're done. Do you need yeah, lighting? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to Starbucks. Y'all need anything? And they're like, nah. <laughs> nah, we're good. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Huge. I, but like, I'm disappointed. How are y'all going to do everything but the, the Because you know, but the it's her claps. boyfriend. Boundaries. She can have sex with her boyfriend, but you're not going to have your boyfriend have sex with your friend. Just Because now her. that crossed then, the line. Then, then she should have her boyfriend fuck her and then the girls he assist. That's but what also, I said. No, that's do. probably what she did. Maybe there was no, sex between just, her and her just, boyfriend, but that. no sex between she said all of them. Else but the sex. For all of them, because a threesome, you would have to have sex with both parties. Oh. The male would have to have sex with both no, parties. I feel like any sort of like oral sex is sex. But it's not a threesome. Yeah, it that's, is. That's just people. No, just yeah, sucking eating. Each other a, off. Yeah, and that's what they did. This is individual. That's why she said low key. Yeah. Well, either way, that's where I'm disappointed. Some people set boundaries, though. I've heard of a lot of people with some situations where it's like yeah you can do everything but like my boyfriend's not gonna penetrate you yeah that's not a threesome yeah, that, that's not a threesome no that's just two people fucking and having an assist that's I what agree. that is that's just I, an I, assistant I disagree that's an assistant a, a well, threesome is three people having sex. involved in a sexual act well, let's google it. google the definition of a threesome sir oral sex is sex they teach you that in like sex ed class in like high school or whatever or google, elementary school google threesome sir <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe y'all are really looking up the definition of a threesome but no, I I totally think that. Nah, you're good, Giselle. You're not in the wrong. Just, just you're alright, bro. And her, for her to make you feel like the, I'm so the, mad. the reason that the wedding is canceled is like on you guys, that's not fair. That's on her. She decided to cancel it. No, you... but like that's an issue with her and her fiance. Um, a threesome can be considered. Any... I'm gonna read you all three. Um, a group of three pe- persons or things. That's one <laughs> trio threesome. Um, a golf match in which one person plays his or her ball against the ball of two other is a threesome. Mm-hmm. And uh, any sexual encounter involving three people. Any sexual encounter. That's Boom. Lame. It's a threesome. Yeah, you guys same. are stupid. I, lame. I don't care what you guys think. That's what lame. it is. It is what lame it is. Ass. Lame. You lame had a lame threesome. Lame, lame ass nigga. But, no um, jizz involved. What the hell, man? What? There's only one jizz in that. You know. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> That's a good one. Um, but no, Giselle, you're good. Um, you shouldn't feel bad. Um, you know, whenever your friend is ready to talk about it, sure. Um, I think the friend group should still stay solid, to be honest. Yeah, you guys were solid um, that night. It's going gonna, it's gonna to look like you're maybe kicking her out the group, but you're not. You guys didn't do anything wrong. It's between her and her partner, like you said. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, that sucks because she said her entire friend group has been affected, yeah. which makes sense because if they're all friends and then it's like she's now not it's talking awkward. To yeah, because me and this friend had sex with my boyfriend. Mm. Your boyfriend watched, and now you're making it awkward for everyone. So yeah. everyone feels like they did something bad, and they didn't. Like I said, she has a huge stop farting, dude. You lean all <laughs> dude. the way over to no. <laughs> what the fuck? That's how you know you were serious. Stop farting, dude. <laughs> I did not sound like that, did I? Yeah, I did. No, I did. <laughs> no, he literally leaned all the way over like a cartoon character. No, and he's let been doing it all day. I know, but gotta like, let it out, bro. Gross. Um, yeah, I mean, like I said, I do think that the bestie Margaret has like a right to be a little annoyed with her boyfriend because, like, or fiance. It, but it all depends on their boundaries, right? If she mm-hmm. set boundaries with him and like that, it, I think it is weird to like have your fiance see your best friend spread eagle like that's that's a lot that's a lot so i get that but at the end of the day that's not on any of you that is only on him she should not make you feel you or any like you your boyfriend sarah none of you guys feel like it's you know on you guys it's not and if she chose to cancel the wedding it's because of her and her man and what they're going through yeah yeah it's not on you guys she said she re- apologized repeatedly. I'm not going to keep apologizing for something that I didn't do. Well, again, it's, it's her close friend, right? She's going to be like, I'm sorry that you feel that way. You know what I mean? Like, whatever. Yeah, but um, repeatedly? Yeah, she feels bad that it happened. But at the end of the day, she also feels like she's blowing it out of proportion. And I agree with you. For sure. Why am I getting a call? Let me answer it. Hello, you're on the podcast. I'm on the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, question. What up, peeps? I What's have a, up? I have a question. <clears throat> a girl and her boyfriend and a friend had a threesome in a hotel room. They were all out one night having a good time. And then 
um another friend and her fiance were there but they had a fight so the the girl left so that but the fiance was still there with them in the hotel room so there's three people girl boyfriend and friend and then the other friend's fiance the three had a threesome but the the fiance was in the room was not involved but he watched are the friends the people who had the threesome are they at fault like did they do anything wrong no all right thank you 100 percent 100% 100% they're not at fault. That man should have walked his ass out. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> if, he has, if he has a problem with it, yeah. I mean, watching is... it's Watching is like watching porn. Yeah, exactly. So I guess so. But is, is it different, though, if you're if, watching your fiancé's best friend have a threesome, though? It's a bit awkward because it's like me going to a uh, nude beach with... Um, my girlfriend's best friend and then she goes topless or take off her bottoms and I'm just there looking at her tits. It's just tits. So, it's just tits. <laughs> just yeah, vaginas. but especially if the if the fiance's not there though, then it adds like a, yeah, a whole other that's layer. I'm, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm saying. So Okay, but, perfect. Um, see you later. Bye. Right, bye. Bye. I have a theory though with um What's the theory? Tyler. He could have been so uncomfortable he couldn't move. Okay, I'm not Bye. No, that's the thing. If you have, if you're, you're, you're so uncomfortable, yeah. your body yeah. saying move, but your body. Yeah, still. you're just. Like, I fuck. get that. Like I've been in uncomfortable situations. I've oh, been in God, a situation like where, where I can't I'm move. Yeah, you my are brain, right. like go, go, go. And my body's just like. Yeah, but like to sit there and watch, it's not like he could have been on. He his might phone have not been turn. watching. He could have just she been like. She said he was over. watching. He probably. Yeah, did. but she probably wasn't staring at him the yeah, whole like, time. Yeah, you're watching him. Yeah, but every time she looked over, he was probably just like. <laughs> well, yeah, he's gonna yeah. look. No shit, he's not gonna look. But he probably could have been so uncomfortable that he just couldn't leave. Yeah, his nerves were just like his brain was like. Ah, ah. Yeah, she said he was in the room. He watched it go down, but was not involved in any way other than watching. That can okay. Only- in my eyes, also, this obviously started while he was in the room. Yeah, of course. I'm not- in nowhere why would you guys well, start? tell me to get out it was then like a kiss and a touch yeah i she get said that it wasn't planned but right? once the next girl joins look at me and be like <laughs> yeah I, I, that was my friend if you're not telling me to beat it i'll sit right go. here i'm like you gotta go i I'm, feel like i wouldn't be i wouldn't assume that's a given I'd be like, i'm telling you if i was in that situation and like maybe if two of them were kissing I, like especially boyfriend girlfriend mm-hmm. i'd be like eh, you know whatever but once i saw it going to more and then someone joins in i'm gonna just tiptoe uh, my ass yeah but that's because you feel awkward around those situations people like me and Excuse tyler me, what are you trying to say no you, but like i'm not gonna sit there and watch you guys have because you feel awkward there's nothing awkward about sex it's just sex just like joey said it's no, just like it is watching just... porn the only difference is okay it's her best friend but at the end of the day it's like for just instance, a naked if, body. If I had a friend who had an OnlyFans and was doing like adult content, I wouldn't want my boyfriend to be subscribed to her OnlyFans because it's it's the boundary. Because why would you snicker? Yeah, you wouldn't because know. <laughs> she she could tell me because she can see. Who says I'm gonna put my name? I'm not <laughs> stupid. <laughs> no, but like you know what I mean. It's mm-hmm. yeah. It's it's just that boundary. That's the only problem in my opinion because I still like I'm not gonna be upset if my boyfriend watches porn and stuff like that. I think that's too much. It's just because it's your friend. Yeah, it's just that boundary. No, I'll give the guy the benefit of the doubt of just like he his nerves might have been like. Nah, like, I don't I, think so. I think his dick was too hard for him to get. Nah, up and walk no out way. Of the room. You the know why? He's been so uncomfortable. He just couldn't move. Nah, also, he was too turned on. Too. He couldn't move. She she didn't say that she told her friend what happened. I think it's her friend found out, a.k.a. Tyler told her yeah, friend. Like, yeah, the well, isn't it better that he tells her before But that's she, what I'm saying. Like, out? all that being accounted for, like, why would he tell you if he was there being his meat or enjoying it? I wouldn't tell you. Mm-hmm. Why would I tell you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I watched your friends had sex and mm-hmm. I was beating my dick to yeah. it. Yeah, no, I man. I'm not going to say nothing. Yeah. I And then when you come to me like, oh, um, the other night when I left the hotel and blah, 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 I heard that this happened and you were there. Yeah. Like, yeah, I was there. Yeah. You know, I didn't want to move or I couldn't move or no, whatever. No, no. Always be more forthcoming with your partner. Don't wait for them to come with information and be like, did this No, happen? that's what I'm saying. So the fact that he was probably the one who went and told her. Oh, he probably didn't nah, nah, see it is, as something as bad. As something this bad. Is, that's why he's saying it. But this still, is why. He should have left. But I this mean. is why people have problems telling the truth. Because now he's telling you the truth. Uh, what's her name? Margaret. Yeah. Now he's telling Margaret the truth. And now the wedding's called off and all these things. Mm. I understand 
the, you know, okay, the best friend aspect of it. Mm. Now that this has been there, it's like, okay, if that ever happens, you know, whatever. I understand she's upset. But now you're letting him know anytime you tell me the truth, if I don't like it, this is what's going to happen. Mm. And this is what we are trained as people. When you're kids, you tell the truth as as African-American people, like, you normally don't get a, okay, thank you for telling me, but next time do this. Yeah. You still get beat. You, the repercussions yeah. still come. Yeah. So when you do tell the truth as an adult and the repercussions still come, yeah. you're just like, why did I say anything? I'm yeah. such an idiot. This is where this is where Tyler fucked up. This is what Tyler said. Uh, Tyler's been like, guys, this didn't happen. I was never here. I was never, <laughs> I was here. never here. This didn't happen. Don't tell Margaret. No, but again, best friend. So the best friend's not going to... Now like, the best friend's going to think something of it. Because now who, I'm looking at you like you're a friend? cheater. Giselle. Giselle is the Giselle? best friend. Giselle and Margaret are best friends. But Giselle knows what happened. Yeah, but Nothing. see, but that's my Tyler point. if Tyler comes to Giselle and's like, tell her I wasn't... Like, you, make, you didn't do anything, so why are you being so sketchy? But I'd be like, you just, must be a I'll, low down, dirty dog. But exactly, but he didn't do anything and he's still in trouble. But I'd be like, Giselle, Giselle, use your head. It, this is going to look bad on both of us. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna throw some. I'm gonna, she obviously didn't I'm gonna think so. Toss it at you. Well, no, no, I think nobody in the nobody situation in the situation thought there would be a Margaret problem. Margaret would react this way. Yeah, well, they Clearly, don't know Margaret. Tyler, that well. they don't know Margaret. Well, yeah. we have a best friend and a fiance. You'd think they'd know her pretty well. Margaret but you sounds can't like a predict, Debbie Downer. You can't. Pre- so you should have called her Debbie instead of Margaret. Yeah, well, <laughs> I didn't think about that. You should have. Like no, nobody can yes, predict can. how someone is going to react a hundred percent of the time. Yeah. In this situation, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And you know what? Giselle and her boyfriend and Sarah, like, they were probably just like in the moment. I like, know. That's what I'm saying. So if I was, if I'm Tyler and you're Margaret, if I'm there, I know if you find out, you will be upset. I know that. Yeah. Your best friend should know that. Yeah. Like, Tyler, maybe it's best if you get out of here. Yeah. But yes, you're in the moment and you're not realizing. Yeah. But like you said, like, she probably looked up a couple times and he's still sitting there. She's just like, okay, like whatever. Yeah. Everyone's thinking it's not a big deal. Yeah. Why? Because obviously you guys don't know Margaret that well then. Yeah. If that was me and one of my friends and then like I heard my girl stayed and just sat there and didn't do anything, I don't give a fuck. Mm. So what? Like, okay. And like, Tyler, you should have been like, Tyler! She went to, to Jez and be like, hey. Or even me and you even and call book. Margaret and be like, yo, you know, I understand we just got in a fight, but there's some shit going on right now. And I'm horny say, as a motherfucker. I will the say. best, the man. God, I would have been like, bro, tell your girl to keep this in download. <laughs> I would be like, yo, you're right, bro. You're right, bro. <laughs> and there you go. Gone. I will say my heart kind of goes out to Tyler because in his head he was probably thinking doing the right. I wasn't involved. I didn't do nothing. And yeah. her best friend can back me up that exactly. I wasn't involved. Exactly. I didn't touch nobody. So I didn't make a go, sound. I'm gonna go home and tell her the truth. Yeah. And then she was and like, "Excuse exactly. me." Exactly. That's <laughs> crazy. And he was like, "What? what? I, I, what? I didn't do anything." <laughs> He's like, "This is the last time I'll tell the truth." Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I. I think she's. She's just upset. I mean, hopefully their their wedding works <laughs> out. Hopefully don't not. Me and like hopefully, that. no. I mean, I. I don't think this is big enough to. And but I. I don't know the relationship, right? But like this as a standalone incident, I don't think is big enough Shit's to break done. up the relationship. Shit's but done. we also don't know their history. We don't know what else he has done or been involved in and that this would broke maybe up that up, you're set done. her. Up. But again, as I said, it's about history, right? Yeah. Done. So done. this as a standalone incident. You are not wrong, Giselle. You're good, bro. The, you, your boyfriend, and Sarah, y'all are good. You guys had a great time. Dude. You guys yeah. apologize. It was, you know, You're unfortunate. You're all good, you little pussy flicker. You're your boyfriend good. is a great man, by the way. Tyler... <laughs> Tyler, you know, you're not a bad guy. You should have left, but you didn't. Nah, but man. it's okay. You guys put on a show for Tyler. Don't don't be mad. Put on a show. I hate you. <laughs> um, yeah, that was an interesting one. <laughs> we got sister fuckers. We got threesomes, <laughs> man. What's going on? We forgot. Don't forget the best friend. The yeah. best friend heartbreaker. Oh. Yeah, the one that had the threesome and the best yeah, friend's but, enemy. Yeah, you got to add that in there. Oh yeah, the God. threesomes, the you know best friend funny? I feel like that's like the, the trend, right? That was like, the start. Threesomes, always somehow friends. the best friend gets upset yeah. with yeah. the threesome. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you guys got some shitty best friends. Yeah. <laughs> Your best friends agree. suck. Your best friends don't know you. They suck, man. My best friends wouldn't be like that. They'd be like, you know what? It's all good. And the fact that, Giselle, that you and the... You and the other friend are still fine. Like you guys are okay. That's I like that. Good for you and good for your boyfriend. I mean, she didn't specify, but I would yeah, assume. I would have threw that in the story. Like, yeah, it was horrible. Now me and that girl don't yeah, talk. Yeah, that's true. Like, yeah. if, if there were issues, I'm sure she would yeah. have brought it up. So. Good job, you little face sitter. Giselle, you know, you can email back. I want to know what was it like. Stop, watching... Des. What? Oh my god. I want to know what it was <laughs> like yourself. watching your best your friend suck your boyfriend's cock. 
And you know how I feel about I that I know. Word. That's why I looked at you when I said cock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So you can. I feel dirty. I don't think she shower. did a better job than you. I feel like. What the did. hell, the thing is, You'll never know. Uh, that's why I'm asking her you'll, to tell you'll me. You'll never know. She'll I, never know. Oh, you're right. Because the boyfriend smart. will never say He's it. not going to say that. Yeah, you're he's right. Like, Yo, no, you're better. And he's like, nah, you're Yeah, worse. that's going to break up a whole nother relationship yeah. if he's like, yes. Yeah, okay, some- Giselle. Then, no, wanna, no, 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 no. I want to say that. I no. want to know her opinion. What See, what she you're thinks. what you're doing now is trying to break up another relationship. No, <laughs> if, if, no. If Baby, G, won't if you Giz come gets, my way? <laughs> 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 no, if Jizz gets mad that Sarah is better at sucking dick, why are you gonna get mad at the boyfriend? Be what? like, yo, ask, call up Sarah and be like, yo, what did you do? What do you mean? Did why you suck my boyfriend's dick so no, good? Because. <laughs> Because he's supposed to say that, like, yeah, maybe maybe Sarah has, like, the good technique. Maybe Sarah's no, been doing because this. Because I love you, yours is the best. Because love. Bullshit. There's Bullshit. love in that She bullshit. licked my balls the way you never have, you hussy. <laughs> you remember when you were licking the top and she was licking the balls? She slid down to my butt. She <laughs> licked my taint and my booty hole. You said you would never, and she did. Yeah. Yeah. So learn that from Sarah. That doesn't make her better. That just makes her more it makes adventurous. Her, yeah, making her better. Just, just by the way, like <laughs> Giselle typed this story. I'm like, I like this girl. I like her. Like she, she seems mad cool. Yeah. Like, she seems really dope. That's why I said break up with your boyfriend and come my way. No. Okay, but I didn't Ariana say break Grande, up with your boyfriend. No. That's aggressive. First of all, the- dump him, leave him. <laughs> Can't believe you. <laughs> Get rid of him. <laughs> singing like 2009 Fetty Wap. <laughs> <laughs> we both got one eye, so it's okay. You have zero. <laughs> <laughs> uh, baby. Oh my god! I like the fact that so many people like are writing in about threesomes. I like this. Yeah, this you would exciting. like that, you freak. I, you know what I like? I genuinely like that we get such a range of questions. Yeah, I love how we get like deep stuff from people like Mikey. Mm-hmm. I like how um I believe this person was supposed to be anonymous, but they wrote like um asking us about that like um uh, what's it called the the Reddit forum. Oh question. yeah, that was anonymous. Like a lot of like thought provoking stuff. We have Nolan who asked about like our music taste, which is more about like us yeah. and like who we are. And we have like these type of questions that are just juicy and super fun to talk about. I love it. Okay. I love the range, y'all. Keep it coming. Ask us anything. Come on, sister this fuckers. Square room. <laughs> oh yeah. How how can I forget that? Of course. That's what I'm gonna call the fans now, sister fuckers. You can't call them all that. Nah, you guys are the sister fuckers. That's just one person. I thought nah. they're supposed to be like squares or something. Nah, they're sister fuckers now. <laughs> I feel like that's a, a big jump from square. Yeah, yeah. Is that square's kind of boring? Yeah. To yeah. like sister, sister fuckers. <laughs> How you doing, sister fuckers? No, but like this is squares in like a good way. Yeah. Or are we the squares? I'm no, not, I'm no. not fucking square. We're Fuck the square here. room and there are squares. No, but the room is like yeah, this but, metaphoric space. And there are squares. There are sisters. So, but are what are we? Square room. We are. We We're the are fuckers and they're the, the sisters. Room. We are this square room. Yeah. And they are oh. our squares. Or are they the root? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is too far. They surround um, us, and we're, they're always watching okay. as we talk. Yeah, oh, boy. Just too far. They are the room. <laughs> the room is us. And they are us. <laughs> right. Toys are us. Every, what the hell? That's the new Toys for Us commercial. See, um, that's Toys why they went us. out of business. <laughs> the room is us, and you are the room. Toys are us. <laughs> um... Okay, before you guys completely freak out everyone listening to headphones because you're whispering into their ears, um, I want to get your opinions, especially as young men. Or I guess, you know, not that young anymore, but... (laughs) um, So this woman online, she released a video where she was talking about the fact that... She said her son right now is 11, but when he turns 14, she wants to get him a vasectomy. Um... Now, she kind of just left the video at that, but, like, the comments were talking, like, it was actually surprisingly very mixed. A lot of, especially women, were saying, I understand why, because, one, vasectomies are reversible, so he can still have kids in the future, but it's a, it's a more permanent, um, method of birth control to, you know, make sure that my kid isn't having a child while he's still a child. Um, I still think it's too invasive personally, but I want to know your opinion as men. It's weird. It is a little weird, isn't it's it? It's pretty weird. I do think it's weird. It's just weird. I just feel like, I don't know. Like, I a vasectomy is, is something 40. that I've always seen. Well, yeah, it's like, well, no. Just any any adult male who doesn't want to have kids for the time being. And, like, yes, I know that now they are reversible. But, like, I've always seen it as, like, a thing that you do when you're older. Like, not 
not 14. How old is she? So she, she wants... Her son is 11 now. Yeah. And when he turns 14, she wants to get him... Because I guess 14 is the age, you know. But she yeah, hasn't heard this podcast because if she that's heard Des, she knows that's by 12 weird. he needs that. Yeah, no, that's um, weird. That's weird. I wouldn't get my kid up. He's still growing. I'm... He's 14. He's still growing. No. I'm on the fence. I, I Teach get, him healthy sex habits. I get what you guys are saying. However, now... What she's doing is lazy in my eyes. That's what you think. That's what I know. One, if this was another way around in a different form and it was, you know, a little girl who maybe doesn't feel like a girl and sex change and all that, people would be more alongside of, yes, do it. Let Mm -hmm. them be who they want to be, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. The way I look at both of those situations is let me do what everybody else does and say that's child abuse simply because if he understands like if she's really talking to him about it and he understands Mm -hmm. and he's like no like i want to do this Mm -hmm. then fine i get it but by you being like well when he turns 14 like i'm gonna do it whether he wants to or not Mm -hmm. yes she can because she's the parent and he's not of the age to legally say anything yeah no Um, 15 no, I think it's 16. No, it's 15. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, like, no, and that's why she's well, she at 14. 14. Yeah. But also it depends on where, where she is. Right. Because yeah. it could be a little bit older. That's it could weird. be 16. It could so be I feel like what she's doing is I understand from a parent's perspective and same thing you guys are saying, like it is reversible. So it's not like I'm changing his life forever. It's just, you know, let's say he turns 18, 19 and he's like, no, nah, I'm going to re, you know, redo this and spread my seed. Exactly. Then, okay, fine. So be it. But while you're a child under my roof, I know you're going to go out and do... I don't want accidents. I don't want none of that. I can talk to you about safe sex all I want. However, you're still going to go out there and do whatever you want. I feel like every guy at one point is like, yeah, you know, condoms are cool, but like... Well, actually, exactly. they never say condoms are cool, but they're like, yeah, they're fine, but like, I want to experience it. The know? real thing. And once you feel the real raw. thing... Yeah, once you get it raw, like, it's hard to go back because it... Oh God, it feels so good. Um, <laughs> but I, I don't think anything she's saying is bad. I don't think it's wrong. I I do think it's weird. It's not. I don't think it's weird. I just think that the way she said it came across as okay. That's kind of weird. However, if she's really talking to her child about it, the same way, if your child, your boy child, eleven years old, and you know he really feels like he he wants to be a girl or he is a girl, as a parent, your job is not to make your child feel bad about anything that they choose to feel or things that they can't help. He can't help the fact that he has sperm cells. I get that. However, you know, like Caden, would I suggest that for Caden? If we're really having a discussion about options, then yeah, he needs to know that is an option you can do and it is reversible. Um, would would you as would a I parent force consider, it? No, not force, but you as a parent, would you consider that like seriously? 100%. If, when he's 14? 100%. Though? Okay. Hundred percent. If like knowing it's reversible, let's say in the next like issues. year or so, because we already had the sex talk. But like, I know he's not having sex. Like, I know that. Um, he's what he's not me. <laughs> no, my mom knew I was having sex. I knew my mom <laughs> knew. Every day I brought home a different girl. Like, mom, this is so and so. This is so and so. Gross. Um, but I think once he starts having sex, then yes, I will have that conversation with him about it because. I don't want you to go through what I have to what what I went through and stuff like that. Mm. So at 14, I don't think the age really matters because once there's sperm coming out, it doesn't matter. Let's say he turns 12 and she's going to do it when he's 14. And now he got some girl pregnant at 12. Like, it sounds crazy, but it's possible. He's like, hey, mom beat you to the <laughs> <laughs> I heard what you said. <laughs> I already snipped my shit. No, I, I told myself I wouldn't get my vasectomy until after I have the kids. Well, I feel like that's what a lot of people think. They're like, now I'm done. But because of the reversibleness, it's essentially, she's, what she's essentially using it as is a male birth control where you don't need to like inject yourself, like, you know, and what a lot of the comments were comparing it to was the fact that like girls, when girls go on like an IUD or birth control, like the pill, it's seriously altering their hormones. It's putting them through a lot. I, I, you know, I know friends who nearly lost their life because of the altering hormones and how their body like reacts to it. It can be quite serious for women. So, um, I think it's like, well, you he know, he's a condom. No, he's not going to. Not that he's not going to, but it's very, it's very easy to say just use a condom, and condoms still aren't a hundred percent. So, like ninety eight. Or like, imagine like That's not he gets his like 
opportunity to lose his virginity, but he doesn't have a condom on him. Most, also, most young kids aren't going to turn that down. It's also things called herpes and uh, other diseases you can prevent. You know, but, but. but that's For not what sure. she's, that's she's not the line she's thinking, right? Pregnancy, though. So, yeah, exactly. So you can't get pregnant, number one, and I still want you to wear a condom because it's safe, not because of the sperm cells at this point. Right. I don't know what that, that means, Hugh. What are you You're just throwing <laughs> He's just hands throwing his hands in the air sometime and he's um, not even saying AO. Condoms, guys. Condoms, no ring. I don't fucking know. Or just wait till marriage. I don't fucking so know. it would not be something you would ever consider for your child? No, wear a fucking condom. I'll teach my kid properly. And hope he doesn't. I'd say, hey, don't bust inside, okay? Just pull out. Yeah, I think again. I think Object! It is more security for her because, like you said, you would teach them the right way and then hope because yeah. that's all you can do. Like, but son, she's like, nah, I don't need hope. I got science. Snip, snip. <laughs> I'm like, son, this is the eject method. You put your hands on the bed and you push as hard as you can. Even if the legs are rocked around, you, 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 you can't hold it. Just push off, son. Nah. Just, just push off. Now the legs are walk, locked around. You do a little tah, right in the stomach. A lot of you men, especially like the first like few times you're having like. They're weak to that shit. They can't. No. I get the it's, feeling. It's not hard to, to fight. Yeah, it's not hard to pull out. It's if not. you have always pulled out. The first time I didn't pull out was actually Caden. Well, <laughs> and I, well, well, I tried to. Bada boom, bada bing. You got baby. <laughs> I tried to. And then after that, just the feeling of not pulling out. Oh, my God. Gushy, gushy. Ew, it's gushy, gushy. Yeah. But I, I understand what she's saying. Um... I don't think there's anything wrong with it. It's her child. You yeah, can do I, as think, you please. I think when you hear it immediately, it and sounds you're like, crazy. You're like, what the yeah. hell is this crazy woman? But talking she doesn't about? mean anything bad by. To be it, fair, though. I didn't get her full thing. A lot of yeah. what I was reading was actually the comments and what people were saying. But once I saw, I thought the comments were all going to be like, "She's crazy. What is mm. she talking about?" And like a lot, an overwhelming amount of people were like, "I understand." Some people were just like, "Yeah, women go through it, so put him through it." But like us, a yeah, lot of them, not, like, that's, a yeah, lot of that part of it. No, that that's stupid. That's stupid, but a lot of them were just like, you know what? If it's reversible, if he's okay with it and not feeling forced into it, then like, hey, it's more of a surefire way to make sure that like that doesn't happen. So I guess it's to each his own. But at the end of the day, I think the most important thing is that like the the child has to consent, otherwise you are doing something completely inhumane. Yeah, just don't teach your kids properly. You know, I don't know. I feel like all of us who've been like raised well have still done bad things that you know we shouldn't have done at some point or another whether that's drinking underage or partying or like before weed was legal y'all used to smoke like you know what i mean it's like what are you talking about (laughs) i mean what huh i did (laughs) (laughs) i did i'm shoot puff puff i ain't passing this (laughs) um what were you uh you had mentioned something about some sort of male Karen, and I need to know the tea. What 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 happened? You said it's not a white guy, though. It's not a black family that they're after. That's what I said. I'm encountered. Oh, okay. I've encountered more non-white Karens than I have white Karens. Really? Yes. That's crazy. Way more whites. <laughs> I saw one. Um, Way more non-whites. Sorry. Yeah, I'm not gonna say what I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> so in Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, Nevada. 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 Oh boy, I don't know. What that All I heard was Nevada. You did it. Okay, no, you're right. Nevada, guys. Um, Nevada. You're Nevada. You're it now. Let's go to the desert and play some casino and play some sauce. We're going to Nevada. Let's go to the desert and play some casino and. We're going to go to play some slots. We're going to go to the street. We're gonna Is that what they sound like? Gonna, that, I feel like that's what a desert dweller would have no teeth. I've, I been, to guys desert, I've been to Nevada and specifically Las Vegas a couple times and they absolutely do Don't, not. Sound yeah, okay. like I'm it. talking about a no teeth dude. So future you. You'd be like, hey, we gotta go to Nevada. We gotta go to the strip, see some, desert see some girls. But you're still putting dweller. on an accent. Yeah. So what does no teeth have to do with an accent? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, so That's a fifty-year-old, fifty-eight-year-old like. man. He has um, neighbors who are brown, Ooh, um, Indian, Ooh. and since they moved in, he's been creating little problems for them. Um, a couple times, he has called the police, saying that he feels like they're terrorists. Um, oh, he God, has called the police, just saying that I don't like them, <laughs> like they can't be here, type mm. of thing. And the latest thing he's done that he now got arrested for is he, this is so ridiculous, he took bacon and he smeared it. But they're Indian. He smeared it all over their door, all over their- Why? Because he thinks they don't eat pork? Exactly. It should have been beef. So he, he, he did it with bacon. He put it all over their car, yeah. and it's on video Wrong of country, him just man. walking Wrong and country. smearing it on the walls, like 
Yeah, so Honestly, they call the when, police. That's when you lean into your culture. Like I would, if I were them, I would have like a sangeet on his front lawn. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, apparently, like in the past, they like they know he's done these things, mm. and they've tried to befriend him. They've tried to, you know, offer like, okay, like you know, I'll make you pot roast type mm-hmm, of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, but he's always had a nasty attitude towards them and. The bacon thing. They called the police. Police came so and he got arrested. Like it's the, a hate crime. Like the, it is a hate crime. Uh, you know that movie that's coming out, the Karen. Oh movie. my god, I can't wait. It, lo- I, it looks, looks pretty lame. It looks. Are you serious? Yeah. There's another one coming out along the same lines called um. Oh, is it called Old? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my it's god. The, the premise of it, Hugh, is people just go to a beach, like a regular beach day. Oh, but I saw that. Something yeah. about the beach is like. It ages you. So it's like 30 minutes is yeah. like six years. Yeah, yeah, so people are like dying. Yeah. They're aging. They don't know what's going on. Yeah. And like, it's supposed to be like a weird horror movie. I'm like, I'm like Shyamalan, whatever you say. That Shyamalan. Sounds, that I'm sounds... Not... Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a twist. I'm like Shyamalan. Blah, blah, blah. That's his name. That sounds Shyamalan. Like Shyamalan. Like those kind of movies, I don't mind watching. I think they can, they they look like they can be stupid, but they also look I think really cool. Pretty stupid. Like when I first, the, the movie Get Out, I was like, what the hell is this? Like, we're scared of white people now, but like when you watch the movie, you're like, oh, it was really well done yeah. and really well executed. I'm so I, I, I think it can be. I'm not. You said you're still scared it. of I'm white still people. Still not scared of white people. Oh no, no, no! The movie, like the movie's supposed to be like, oh, you're black, you gotta be, you gotta yeah, be afraid you gotta of. Gotta act the white- a certain way, right? Because then you whites. friend them up, They'll they're gonna ask, kill you, gonna steal your body. <laughs> All right, let's get into it because I feel like it's hard for us to ignore at this point. Shikari Richardson, the the track star, the runner, the track star. She's a runner. She's a track star. <laughs> not anymore. She is, but she, um, so she is supposed to head to the Olympics. She unfortunately found out on in an interview that she, her birth mother passed away. She was stressed out. She smoked a little weed. And because of that, she didn't pass a drug test. Now, according to the Olympics and the rules of the sport, you can't be under any substance. People are arguing the fact that weed is not an enhancing drug. If anything, it slows you down. She's a, she's a, she runs track. She's a mm-hmm. sprinter. So why would weed, you know, whatever. But it's like, it's in the rules, whether it's or not banned. it, it, Yeah. So there's a lot of people who are just like, she shouldn't have been banned and blah, blah, blah. First of all, I will say that the ban is 30 days. So it's over at the end of July. So she still is able and eligible to compete in her race in the Olympics. Oh, that that what didn't come out at first because people didn't know. But she accepted it. She took accountability. First of all, she wasn't making excuses. She's like, you know, I'm human and I did it and it is what it is. But she still is able to compete. because The ban is over, I think, by like the 27th of July. But the whole thing is like everyone was kind of like, let her mm. run. It's just weed. It doesn't enhance it. Some people are like rules mm. are rules. Yeah, what rules do you are guys? Rules. What do you guys think? You know the rules. She um, knows the rules. Yeah, rules are rules. Um, yeah. However, if I'm a opponent and I hear that she's banned for thirty days for this, oh, I'll be pissed. It's not even that I'm pissed if I'm an opponent. I'm going to fight this and be like, no, she but shouldn't be, be able to compete whatsoever. I'd be pissed at her. Well, no, I'm, I said like, opponent. I, opponent. Yeah, if not, I was the opponent, I'd be like, why? Why, cause, cause it, why would you be mad at her? You'd be like, great, because, do because it again, idiot. Because they're truly athletes. They want to fight. They want a good nah. race. No, it would, I want a good nah. race. A true opponent. I'd be, if there's I was a, other, she's not the only Olympian. There's going to be other yeah, competitors. Yeah, but she's like. I get what you're saying. But like, yeah, as a competitor, I'd be like, less competition. Good. Exactly. No. I'm going to be like, why would she do that? She's stupid. That's her problem. No. That's her team's problem. Not mine. No, Whatever. I'd, I'd be pissed at her. But like, why would you fuck that up? Dummy. I, my coach, if I'm the coach, I'm going to read this rule book and I'm going to be like, nope, she can't compete in the Olympics. Nope. So, so, First of all, nope, I so, will say, so. I really like her personality from yeah, what she's I've cool. seen. And like, you know, she always has her hair laid. She's, she has she, her eyelashes on. I'm like, yeah. how do you run that fast? Her lashes. inspiration is a uh, Flojo. But also her nails. Did you see the Did you see the Karen who said that she looks like she was on steroids? Steroids because, because of the hair and the like, nails. She was like, oh, to have... Uh, like hair that long and and nails and that, that color, long yeah. uh, you have to be on steroids and she compared it to Flojo <laughs> and she was like she was on steroids and blah blah yeah. blah and people are like do you not know that these are not her real nails and hair yeah. like it was it was a very Karen yeah. moment saying that like she had like it wasn't just weed the only substance she was on and blah 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 I don't know how, when I heard about it I was like you fucked up well it seems like it sounds like she can compete so. it, from the last I heard is she is able to compete oh yes. okay so I don't care then um yeah I and sorry like she to me she got off pretty late because in the UFC when we were still banned they would be banned for like two three years yeah Nate Diaz can oh, now damn. just start fighting yeah, the 30 the really? 30 days is like yeah. a slap on the wrist so that's soft 
Um, in the UFC, they have it way. In most other sports, where it's banned, they're gone for. They have to pay a fine, and they're gone for years. No, nah, she probably probably. I know the fines. I didn't know like two, three years. And that's for the U- that's how it used to be like that in the UFC. Yeah, that's why Nate Diaz hasn't fought. No, um, not Nate Diaz. I know when. What'd you say? His brother's name. His brother is it Nate? No, what's his brother's name? I don't know. So Diaz, or whatever. Nick Diaz. Nick Diaz couldn't fight for years because of that. You got ben I know when Usain Bolt started racing because he was so fast. Mm. They tried to say he was on steroids and they like he they couldn't, and then they um they did not a drug test, but they pretty much tried to say that in Yam there's natural steroids and that's why he runs mm. as fast as he. Does. It was this whole stupid stupidness. Yeah, some Yam and now he's too. But fast. the fact that she smoked Black some weed at the end run of run the- faster because it's in their DNA when they had to run from their slave mm. masters. Yep. <laughs> That's my story, and I'm sticking I, to I it. I am here with you. I'm here with you. Um, like you said, you like rules are rules. She knew the rules. Um, regardless of whatever, I'm happy she the victim card. Whatever reason, I love yeah. that she took accountability. She has to. There's no if ands or buts. No, but you know, she didn't even make an excuse. She was like, all she said was, "I'm human." You can't. I feel like other people were making excuses for her, and I love that. And I, I love that she took accountability, and I love that she is able to compete. I think it's like. It shows that, like, just own up to it and, like, the universe will kind of, like, reward you. That's not what happened to Tyler. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so clearly, that's not true. <laughs> it's clearly a lie. Well, maybe Tyler didn't take accountability. Maybe maybe she found out. Like, y'all y'all need to leave this story nah, alone. Nah. You guys are so upset over it. I'm not upset. Like y'all was, were heated over the fact that Margaret broke off the engagement. No, I'm happy for Tyler. Leave. <laughs> Leave, Stop Tyler, leave. Me. Jizz, tell Tyler to leave. <laughs> leave, bro. Oh, my God. Figure it out, bro. You're good. You're good, bro. All right, Hugh, what do you got for us before we wrap up this oh, wonderful week? Oh, buddy, I got some food comparations. I said that wrong. Comparations. <laughs> Is that like a porno version of I think you try to say variations and comparisons. Uh, sure, I'm a little dumb dumb. All right, so since the last time you guys didn't like the way I did it last time, so we got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We got 12 donuts. 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 Okay. Nuts with donuts. Not Timbits. Donuts. Nah, nah, donuts, bro. Most people don't know what Timbits are. It's oh. okay. They don't need to know. Timbits are the same as donut holes oh, for those of you who okay. don't know. All right, so we got powdered donut. Versus just like white powdered. That's what a powdered donut is. I don't know. And powdered they donut. Have, like cocoa powder. Powdered donut. donut versus strawberry frosted. I don't eat donuts like that. Neither do I. But I'm gonna go with powder. Um, I'm gonna what go with fuck? strawberry. Strawberry is the one with the filling inside. Nah, this is a no, strawberry on, on top. top. On yeah, top. I'm still gonna go strawberry. Is it powder. Yeah. Fucking weirdo. The the little ones that you used to get from the grocery store were dope. Or like the tiny toms. Like little powders. I felt like donuts. they were just so like Pow- powders. You can't eat that shit, many, man. but you have a couple and you're like, mm. All right. I haven't had a do- oh, I want a donut now. I haven't had a donut in forever. Jelly donut Ugh. versus Boston cream donut. Boston cream. Yeah, Boston cream, man. Uh I wanna say neither. <laughs> I don't even Choose. think I've had a Boston cream. Boston Jesus cream is Christ. pretty good. I'll Choose say Boston cream only because I don't like jelly filled, but like I, I truly neither. All right, <laughs> chocolate frosted versus chocolate glazed. Chocolate glazed, holy shit, balls! I uh, used to fuck up the glaze. The glaze, no chocolate frosted. I don't like chocolate though, so like both. Yeah, I'll choose but chocolate, chocolate frosted. Frosted, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, yeah, yeah. old. I used to fuck up the glaze. <laughs> <laughs> fuck up that glaze. Old fashioned glazed versus glazed. 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 I'm gonna take old fashioned glazed. Man. Yeah, less well, messy. Old fashioned is like the dry one. Yeah, yeah it's the mm. dry, crusty looking one. <laughs> no um, wonder you. That's picking. the one he's taking. <laughs> um, maple frosted versus a long john. Long what? john's just a long. But like, what's the flavor? Uh, maple Donut. frosted. It's no. It can be. It's normal. A lot of times, it's either chocolate or vanilla. Sometimes it'll have a cream. It'll have a cream filling in Ooh, it. Sometimes. What's it's a long john versus what? A maple. maple frosted. But I don't know what a long john is. It's just a long. But like, if it's if it if the long john has filling, no. It's normally like a like a cream frosty like filling. Oh, I'll go with maple, but I don't. I don't. Uh, I'm going again, with, neither. But... I'm gonna go with maple dip. I love maple dip. Yeah. It's maple my, for you? It's like my mm-hmm. favorite. All right, and burp, 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 burp. donut holes, or for Canadians, Timbits versus a bear claw. What's uh, a bear claw? Bear claw is that thingy right there. I can't see. Jesus Christ. Oh. Yeah. 
Like, I'm is sorry. Is that good enough for you? You blind shit. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Do you see? Can you see? I didn't see. Shit. <laughs> Why am I getting punished for Des's eyes? You, first of all, you're the worst because... <laughs> He's like, can Joe, you see that, you blind No, not shit? even that. Joe asked you what a long john was. Why didn't you just show her the picture? That's true. You had pictures the whole time? <laughs> it's in the bottom right corner. What an asshole. I didn't think about it. I just explained it. And then it. you were so right mean there. to the, you blind shit. <laughs> um, that one. That looks like a turd. Um, <laughs> you look like a turd. <laughs> <laughs> I don't deserve that. <laughs> uh, yeah, the last two, what were they? Donut bear hole, claw, bear claw, or um, what'd you say? Bear Donut claw, hole, bear claw. You sound like you said boar claw just now. <laughs> boar claw. <laughs> yeah, I'll take the, the bear claw. Let me ask you guys: Would you choose like a bear claw or a beaver tail? Beaver tail is not a donut. I know, but it's like basically a donut. No, it's not. It basically, it's not it's a like donut. The same type is of it dough. on the list? Do you do you know what a beaver tail I, is? I heard that they're in Quebec, Ottawa, Montreal. No, and they're here. It's a Canadian oh, yeah, thing. You don't yeah. really see them. That it's like often. a pastry, and they put like powdered sugar and shit on it. Yeah, you it's can get good. them at actually um, the amusement park here. Is it like? Wonderland. Is it as sweet as uh? What's that thing no. called that people get from Wonderland? The uh, funnel cake. Yeah. No. no. Well, funnel cake is it's, it's better sweet than a funnel because cake. it's whoa. Put some it's respect on. I didn't say funnel cake's bad, but beaver tail's better. I'm craving a funnel cake and a donut. Damn. Bear claw, donut hole. I said bear claw already. I'm gonna go with donut hole. Uh, Same little with the tin bits. Um. Yeah, I feel like you do like weird things with that. You brought up the amusement park. I I eat it. Are you? Do you guys plan on going this year? I'll go next year. Yeah, probably next year. Because the rules are gonna be all stupid. We're in Canada. Because it's like super like restricted. Yeah, you have to go at an appointed time. Right, you have to make an appointment to go to amusement park. Like, like each the ride to make an appointment. Like to the amusement park. Oh, okay. Like from this time to this time. Oh fuck that. But to be fair, like I haven't been in years, so I am kind of craving to go. But yeah, I can wait a year. I'll go next year. I'm busy this summer, anyways. All right, well, that brings us to the end of our very interesting episode. Sorry, hold on. Giselle. Oh, my God. You always have to have the last <laughs> word to the um, To the nasty ones. Uh, Giselle, I'm not lying to you. I really do want to know like the questions Stop that it. I asked. She I has do. a man, eh? I know she week, does. Her man I just, is going to write in like, no, yeah, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, okay. Man, yeah. I didn't sound like if that. If he's going to write in, no pressure. I just want to know. Who is better? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, is there a technique? Is there something that, like... You're toxic. I just want to know. <laughs> I want to apply it to my life. I and don't how, how can that apply to your life? Because he likes in, vagina. No, no, no. In case, like, one of the girls did something different. Like, if he was like, yeah, Giselle does this thing where she sticks her tongue in my pee-pee hole. And I'm like, huh. That <sighs> might feel good. Let me try that. He's well, not, not sticking my tongue. to tell you what his girlfriend does. He's not going to put that on blast. She said it was good. That's all you need to know. She said it was hot. Giselle. That's all you need to know. You got me. Nobody's got me like you got me. <laughs> what? <laughs> Girl doesn't even know you, weirdo. <laughs> um. All right. Well, that is wonderful. Thank you for texting me, Eugene. I appreciate that. <laughs> Um, you can find us on our social media at this square room our Instagram or Twitter um, if you guys have a juicy story a question yeah, a deep question stories. something about us whatever it is it doesn't have to always be about a threesome but of course we welcome those we want as more well more sister I, I fuckers do. You want more <laughs> of those um, but yeah so we definitely always want to hear from you guys um, you can write us at this square room.com slash ask and we will see you next Tuesday Thank you.